Hey, hey, everybody, Carbase Juice with you. Welcome. We're going to do uh, Bowman uh, Hobby 2018 number 20 right now. Diet Pepsi so delicious. Joey, anybody interested in, a, in an elite box war with uh, with old Joey? Um, elite, we were doing serial number, I think. I mean, you could do it any way you wanted to, but we I believe we were doing it serial number style. But that's, you know, the thing is, I don't think every pack has a serial number. So, I mean, a, a box war would either work if you want to do box, keep your box, win a box. It would be go through your entire box, find the lowest serial number card that you have on the left-hand side. So, like, a one of one would basically be a huge victory. A uh, one of 6,000 would also be hella hard to beat. And you would, like, winner, you know, everybody keep their box. The winner would win a new box. Um, we also, ha there's a couple that we were doing that was uh, last name alphabetical breaks. They were like, whoever had the uh, last name that was closest to A, A, A would uh, keep their business and win a box. But it, uh, it depends on how you want to play it. I've been watching the uh, Lost in Space uh, Netflix show. Anybody else uh, watching uh, watching such a thing? Anybody else geeking out on uh, geeky type business? Let's slide that over. Alright, we ran into that uh, that one pack. 
It doesn't want to open smoothly. It's fine. You can keep your you can keep your unopening pack. It's fine. Let's continue to move through this. Ain't no thing, pack. Ain't no thing. All right, does anybody watch the uh, show Brockmire? That's an entertaining one. Uh, Brian, yes, this is 20. We have not shown any cards. I am uh, still going through all of the packs, but this is number 20. Brockmire, if you're a sports fan in, in, in any way... A sports and a debauchery fan is an excellent show. I, do, I like it very much, Brian. I think it's very funny. You, I, I've even got the wife to watch it with me. And she's uh, traditionally not for such uh, such gratuitous shows of sexuality and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think the wife, like, genuinely loves it. I mean, because most stuff that, like, that I, that I watch with her that she just, you know, just does not, that she's like, you know, she'd be like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, just, you know, go and put it on. Go and put it on. And, I, and I'll put it on the TiVo. And then, like, two minutes later, she's asleep. Brogmeyer, she actually kind of sticks with. You know, and, like, she knows about Pedro, and... I think she follows it, you know, stays awake when, for most shows, like, she doesn't. Like I'm a huge fan of Brock Meyer himself. Like the the guy. Like he used to have a show. Oh my god! I mean, it's been like ten or twelve years ago. And for the life of me, I can't remember what what it was called right now. That uh, that I love. And he's got Simpsons money. So like he, I mean, he really doesn't have to work anymore. So, I mean, so the fact that he does Brockmire, like, I mean, I, I think more or less for fun, like, just, just shows. And he does some stuff, like, I don't know, I'm in Miami, so we, uh, we have the, uh, Dan Levitard show down here. I mean, I know it's national, but it's, like, he, he, he is not, like, everybody's taste. Let's put it that way. But he has, like, some bit 
that uh, he got Brock Meyer to do a, a whole bunch of, which was just hilarious. Okay, so let's slide that over there. Let's slide that over there. Let's move this one over this way. That one over this way. Another uh, sip of the Pepsi. Brian, I am I am all with you on that. I even I mean everybody in the show is really good. I mean, it's nice that they keep it like a tight, uh, you know, tight bunch of characters. The one thing, like Jules, you know, the lady from the what are they, from from the other affiliate that he was with, she's super hot. And I like seeing her, so I would like her to be uh, more of the more more a bigger part of the show. But other than that, like I, I mean, I'm I'm in love with it. It makes me giggle thinking of Hank Azaria. He would be an excellent breaker. I mean, a really, really good breaker. Hey! Rookie Auto, Colorado Rockies, Orange Style, Ryan McMahon with the High quality autograph. I mean, that is near Andre Dawson style autograph. I mean, Dan, I, I might, I mean, oof. I mean, I, I'd have to see a couple of more, but I mean, that is Dawson maybe better than Dawson. If it's consistent, that's impressive. I like it. I have been watching the show Barry. I don't know if anybody's uh, seen that thing. It's on HBO. It's uh, got uh, Bill Hader as a uh, like a hitman kind of deal in it. Uh, Jordan Humphreys to two fifty. Wait, Rusty Mariano is better in what? I mean, he would fill breaks fast enough that he could. I mean, he could probably make similar money doing voices as he could just uh, doing this. Uh, Eric Lauer to one twenty-five. Oh, okay, Rusty, Rusty. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. It's good. It's good. I mean, I, th I still, I mean, for my, for my money, Andre Dawson, I feel like is the best. Mariano, very strong. Very strong. I got another orange uh, coming up. It's going to be Paper Style. It's going to be Freddie Freeman, uh, 25 for the Braves. Yeah, Michael, I, I think it is time. I feel like it's time. 
Let's get let's get through a whole bunch of these, uh, you know, junky kind of base cards and whatnot, and uh, then let's get you let's get you a McKay. Mm, there's no tiny base. But I like to show Barry. It, I have had like kind of run into an issue that like uh, I mean I've always been uh, you know kind of tech forward. I'm you know been on on top of all the stuff, but I've not always had dollars. So like I've never had an iPad, but my wife got an iPad from her parents uh, for her last birthday. Well, my wife also falls asleep very easily and very, very quickly. So, <laughs> I've been watching a lot of uh, junk <laughs> on the iPad uh, as of late. Being at uh, Lost in Space, Barry... Uh, I mean, Rockmire we watch together, but uh, just just general crapola. Bryce Wilson uh, cracked ice for the uh, Bravos. Couple of uh, sketchy, well, not not sketchy, but uh, Netflix anime shows that uh, I, don't, I don't really want to discuss names with because I'm already like a little bit embarrassed that I. At, at the amount of anime that I do watch, but I like it. Come on, show yourselves rowdy. That's all I got uh, for that sticky card was a rowdy. Majestic. The weight is going to be worth the weight, Rusty. It's going to be worth the weight. Let's see. I just... I just finished uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Yomi. So that was, that, was the, that was the one that I had spent the most time going through. Um... Jesse had recommended several. Kill a Kill, which I'd watched already. So I, I'd seen that. Fan of that fan of that one. He recommended uh, Gurren Logan, which I also saw and uh, enjoyed that uh, thoroughly. The other the one that I'm watching now. Uh, Soul Eater. Soul Eater is, is uh, one I'm, one that I'm that I'm currently watching. It's okay. Shed Long. Refractor uh, autograph for the Reds to uh, four ninety nine. I've been. Like I've thought about watching uh, uh, One Piece, but I just haven't really gotten into it. All right, hang on. Hang on. Uh, Yomi, I'll tell you, one of my favorites, and I mean, I don't know if it's Bleach, was, I mean, was, was one of my favorites. I'm gonna write this so uh, the commie thing down. Hang on, did I go through this one? Yeah, that was all I went through. Mm. 
Like I, I liked, I mean, I want something with like a little bit of darkness to it. I just have, I just have not found it yet. I mean, but I mean again, but I, I mean, I, I like some. I mean, I like the lightness too. I just, I kind, I kind of want something with some darkness. Uh, Bradley to four ninety nine for the Indians. Yeah, that I mean, I knew I knew that one piece would be a long, like a long game, you know, like that. I, that I, it would take me, it would take a little bit of time to get into, but uh, once I did, all right, you know, I mean, I, I wrote, I wrote them both down. All right, now hang on. Well, Yomi, I uh, I I absolutely appreciate it because I mean I found all of a sudden like my t myself with like a third ton of time to watch stuff because I like to go to bed with the lady, with you know with my lady, but at the same time like she you know like lays her head down, gone, she's done, it's over. Me three hours later. I'm still like still hanging out. So to have like the uh, this this new invention of the iPad to uh, be like washing garbage has been amazing. A Cole Reagan's to twenty five. Okay, I'm still finishing uh, Naruto Shippuden. I. I half want to finish um, Notani, but yeah, you know, and I guess I don't even know if you want to how, how you can consider finish or just go through like a Dragon Ball. In 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 some sometimes I want to go through it, sometimes I don't, just because I know it's just going to be a drag. Duggar is four ninety nine. Yomi, that's that's the truth. That is absolutely the truth. I mean, really. I mean, Chris Rodriguez, cracked ice. There's a couple that are a couple of like Netflix exclusives, like that. Like Netflix has made like their own animes that I. Have ye I have yet to like kind of get in like like tap into, but I'm curious about. But there's like a couple of other people that use my Netflix account that I so my like the my ratings business is a little bit skewed. I mean, I'm legit excited uh, for the new series of One Punch Man. No, Attack on Titan, done. Already finished out. One Punch Man season one, done. The Hero Academy. I have to check that. I definitely have to check that out. And seven daily sins. I'll look into. I'll look into that too. Well, it is hobby, Jason. I mean, it's not. You know, it is. Uh, it, it is nuclear explosion or or a shed long autograph kind of deal.
See, ship it in. The only thing, the only problem I'm having with that is finding a place to watch it. Like, it's not available on Netflix. Yeah, I'm not, no, no. All right, I'm not. I'm not even gonna get into that. Uh, I'm not even gonna ship it. That's that, that. That's my deal to figure out. Yeah, the new Attack on Titan. I'm looking forward to One Punch Man season two. Should be uh, should be coming very shortly. One Punch Man is one that like I'm a little bit like surprised that has has done as well as it has. Pedro Avila autograph. I mean, it's not like there's not like a lot to it. Kind of, but damn if I did not like wait, like just wait for every episode as as soon as it came out so that I could see it. I don't know. I mean, there's. Uh... I struggle with like wanting this, like wanting like a full form, like story being built, which I know takes a lot of time and a lot of like filler, you know, kind of episodes. Like there's not a lot of canon. But then at the same time, like I want something that's like dark and got a lot of action to it. But if you do that, then there's not a lot of story. So you like, you, I, I, I put myself into like a catch 22 about it. Like that was like kill a kill a kill. I kind of like, you know, the, like the, like the pace of it. Uh, Kyle Cody to one twenty five for the Rangers. I felt like Attack on Titan moved with like like some you know moves with with some goodness between like you know story episode story episodes and battle episodes kind of. Yeah, I felt like they did. They did a good, a uh, good job of that. I don't know. I just, I just love it. I just don't. Know. And, I mean, and I, I'll get into junk too. Aramis Garcia to four ninety nine refractor for the Giants. I don't know the Gurren Logan. I think was like the the one that I that I binge watched the hardest. It just I just happened to be in a point in my life that I had no job and like jack else to do, and I I went hard on that. Well, I mean, listen. I I wrote them down. You know what I mean? I I have written them all down, and I am uh, I'm gonna look into it because I mean, because again, like my my life, my watching life has kind of changed with this uh, iPad. Pete Alonso to four ninety nine. Mets, because like since I since I don't sleep that much, I've got time. And I, I mean, I I will you know. I will crush, you know, two hours of, uh, of episodes. Sam Howard, Cracked Ice for the Rockies. I still remember, like, uh, I had, my wife has, like, a gift basket uh, store. Like, like, she sells, you know, gift baskets, whatever. And uh, we had to deliver stuff some to the convention center like the Miami Beach Con Convention Center one day 
and uh, it, it was like a Saturday, and like the the normal couriers don't work on Saturday, so I was like, ah, I'll take it. You know, just give it to me, I'll do it. So I show up at the convention center, and it's a it's like an anime show. And I saw guys dressed uh, in Attack on Titan stuff. But some of them, I mean, listen, I mean, you know, you can do, what you, listen, you do what you do. I, I'm not, I'm like, sh- I'm not shitting on them for them. But they had like uh, 12 pack boxes. You know, like if you had like, like Mountain Dew, you know, in those, uh, in those long 12 pack boxes. Like, ha- had like taken those and like turned them into like the, uh, I mean, basically the blade holders for, uh, for Attack on Titan. I mean, it's, I mean, it's solid work, like costume wise. Yomi, see, no comic, no Comic Con for me. Like, I'm not, I'm not a, uh, not a public person. I don't, I, I have no interest in being out in public. Like, really, at all. But I am, but the one piece I am interested, like, I mean, just, I mean, if it's been going on this long, it's got to have some goodness to it. And I figure I can pound through episodes, like, with quickness. Uh, what's, what was the other one, uh... Son of a bitch, why can't why can I not think of the name? Um Cowboy. Fuck. I seriously th- I mean I'm seriously thinking about talking to a doctor about my about my about losing my like God, like losing my focus. They're in space. It's some, Bebop Cowboy. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Yomi. God damn. That was that, that was one I enjoyed. I enjoyed that. I, I like that one. It's like all I have is a card knowledge. When I'm focusing on the cards. Well, no. I, I mean, I would go. Mm. Keenan, if you would like to take, uh, say, 13 spots in a National Treasures basketball PYT, I would uh, definitely do that for you. Right now. But otherwise, there's not uh, a fucking Joey Wentz for the Braves autograph. Wah, wah. Makes me sad. Uh, Cracked Ice Talent Pipeline to uh, 150 for the Tigers. Yeah, that was... Uh, dude, the, the 21... Is that what we're talking about? 21 better be... <laughs> That's spectacular. Uh, this is number 20. Brandon, 21... It is going to be in the next five minutes. We're going to start it in the next five minutes. 19 and 20 so far have been uh, duds. Charlie Blackman to uh, 499. 
Uh, Miranda Germo, Ger, Gonzalez to 250. <laughs> For the Marlins. Uh, blue paper, Adam Hasley to 150 for the Phillies. Yomi, I mean, listen, what... It, I spent some significant time uh, discussing these things with my therapist. And uh, what is growing up? Are you are you paying your bills? Are you living your life? I mean, are you you know you doing what you do? Logan Allen, cracked ice. There is no such thing as like quote adulthood or uh, you know anything of the sort. Are you handling your business? Then you're doing your thing. You know, then fuck it, and then it doesn't matter. There is no one to say what, you know, an adult or what uh, being grown up should be. There, there, there is no, uh, there is nothing. If you are happy and if you are doing what you enjoy and uh, and living your life as you as you see fit, then that then then you are you, man. And that's it. You don't worry about anything else. If anybody else craps upon you for it, that's their problem. It is definitely not yours. Think about it. We'll get this right out to... Well, uh, wait, real quick. Real quick. Rick Hurt. Uh, Wentz Braves autograph. And Avila Padres autograph. A Shed Long Refractor for the Reds. And the uh, very beautiful autograph for uh, Ryan McMahon of the Rockies, 25 orange style.